Good evening. As we move into the final stretch of 2025, attention inside the astronomical community is quietly narrowing toward a date that keeps appearing in orbital projections, telescope schedules, and internal observing plans. March the 16th, 2026. In exactly 76 days, the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas will pass through a region of space where gravity, geometry, and measurement precision all change rapidly. Not because something dramatic is expected to happen, but because this is where uncertainty collapses into clarity. For months, 3I Atlas has been moving steadily outward through the solar system. It entered on a hyperbolic trajectory, confirming that it originated beyond our sun's gravitational domain. Its speed, orientation, and orbital energy all place it firmly in the category of an interstellar visitor. Only the third ever confirmed. That alone makes it significant. But now, as its path carries it closer to Jupiter's sphere of influence, a familiar misunderstanding has begun to circulate. The idea that the object has changed course, or that it is somehow not leaving the solar system in 2026. To understand what is actually happening, we need to separate perception from physics. When an object like 3I Atlas is first detected, astronomers do not instantly know its path with perfect precision. Early orbit solutions are provisional. They are built from limited data, often collected when the object is faint, distant, and moving quickly against the background stars. As more observations accumulate, those solutions are refined. Uncertainty shrinks, parameters tighten, and sometimes, when plotted visually, this refinement can look like a change in direction, even though the object itself has not altered its motion at all. This is not unusual. It happens routinely with comets, asteroids, and distant objects. The sky is large, measurements carry noise, and early estimates improve with time. A refined orbit is not the same thing as an active maneuver. What makes March 16th important is not that 3I Atlas is deciding anything, but that Jupiter is there. Jupiter dominates the gravitational landscape of the outer solar system. Its mass sculpts comet families, redirects trajectories, and ejects objects entirely. Any small body passing within its gravitational reach will experience deflection. This is not speculation. It is classical, celestial mechanics. The same physics that has shaped the paths of comets for billions of years. So yes, the outbound trajectory of 3I Atlas after its Jupiter encounter will not be identical to the trajectory before it. But that does not mean the object is staying. It does not mean it has reversed course. It means gravity is doing what gravity always does. In fact, this encounter is valuable precisely because it allows astronomers to measure the object more accurately than ever before. Near a massive planet, small deviations become easier to detect. Astrometric precision improves. If any non-gravitational effects exist, this is where they would stand out clearly against prediction. That is why observatories care about this date. Not because it marks an event, but because it sharpens the data. As of now, all publicly available orbital solutions indicate that 3I Atlas remains on an unbound trajectory. It entered the solar system from interstellar space, and after its passage through the outer planetary region, it is expected to leave again, continuing onward into the galaxy. Its path may be redirected, its exit angle may change, but leaving and being redirected are not the same thing. This distinction matters because it defines how we interpret everything else. Over the past weeks, claims have circulated suggesting unusual dust, unusual emissions, and unusual materials associated with 3I Atlas. These claims often sound precise, technical, and convincing at first glance. But science does not advance by precision language alone. It advances by traceable data, repeatable measurement, and independent verification. Earth's atmosphere is constantly receiving material. Micro-meteoroids enter daily. Industrial aerosols travel globally. 
Volcanic particles linger for months. Atmospheric chemistry is complex, seasonal, and noisy. Connecting any specific particle population to a distant interstellar object requires extraordinary evidence, not correlation. Similarly, color in astronomical imaging is not a direct indicator of energy source. Apparent color depends on filters, sensors, processing, and geometry. A blue glow in composite imagery does not automatically imply internal power or exotic physics. Only spectroscopy, with identifiable emission lines and reproducibility across instruments, can support such conclusions. Rotation, too, can mislead. Many natural objects rotate with apparent stability over short observational windows. Detecting subtle changes requires long baselines and high precision. A stable period alone does not imply control, guidance, or design. It implies that within our current measurement limits, the rotation is consistent. What makes 3i Atlas genuinely interesting is not any single anomaly, but the broader context it belongs to. Interstellar objects are no longer theoretical. They are observed and each detection implies a population far larger than what we can currently see. These objects are small, dark, cold, and fast. Most pass through the outer solar system unnoticed. We detect only the rare few that come close enough, bright enough, and at the right angle to be found. This means the solar system is not isolated. It exists within a constant flow of material exchanged between stars. That idea alone reshapes how we think about planetary systems, galactic structure, and long-term evolution. The upcoming Jupiter encounter is part of that learning process. It is a chance to test models, reduce uncertainty, and refine our understanding of how interstellar bodies behave when they interact with massive planets. It is not a turning point in intent. It is a turning point in measurement. Between now and March 16th, astronomers will continue tracking 3i Atlas across multiple wavelengths. Optical data will refine position. Infrared observations will constrain size and reflectivity. Continued monitoring will test whether any non-gravitational forces are present, and if so, whether they align with known natural mechanisms. And after the encounter, the object will continue on its path, carrying with it the answers that careful observation can extract. If something unexpected appears in the data, science will address it methodically. If nothing unexpected appears, that result is just as important. Both outcomes advance understanding. What matters most is resisting the urge to assign meaning before evidence demands it. 3. Atlas does not need to be extraordinary to be important. Its existence already is. In 76 days, the uncertainties around its trajectory will narrow further, the models will improve, the story will become clearer, not louder, and that is how real discovery happens. Quietly, patiently, and grounded in what the data actually says. If you want to follow this object through its Jupiter encounter and beyond, stay with us. We will continue tracking what is known, what is measured, and what remains open, without speculation and without noise. Because the universe does not require drama to be fascinating, it only requires attention.